Welcome to Building with Bud. Uh, we've had a few people ask if we can show how we mix our mortar up. So what I'm going to do is, we'll get a go at mixing some water. I ain't going to say this is the right way, but this is how I've been doing it for the best part of 40 years, and that works for me. Uh, let's see what we can do. So let's get the mixer turned on. <laughs> oh. Then all this wall is still counting on. There we go. Right. Right, the key to this, what people do most is they make it too wet. And you want nice clean water, get a little water in there, and we can add as we go. And then you want, we well want to use some sort of fed mix, but this is concentrate. I find that better than the old style uh, uh, fed mix. So we'll give it. A little bit of that. I'm going to use about 15 on there, push that in there. We just let that have a little mix. See where we go. Right. Okay, what I'm going to do first is I'll get some sand in. So we do one, two, three. Just tip the bucket up. And another thing what people make mistakes is when they get sand, they get a shovel of sand like that, and then I get a shovel of cement like that. That's no good. So what you gotta have is you gotta have equal cement to your shovels of sand like so it's gotta be fast like that, there, the same cement. So when I put another three in and I'm making this five one. A ratio of five sand, one cement. We'll put another big cement in. Get that like that. One, two, three. Right. Get another cement in. So we're now got approximately 15 in there. Now you can see at the minute that looks like that needs a load of water. But what we'll do is we'll just give it the smallest amount and then we'll tip it and just let that mix itself first. By the way, don't put your hand in the mix or a trowel. I prefer professionals only. Let's see what we can do. It's starting to come. You have to have a little bit of patience with this. Just let that pull itself round. And if you can see there, it's starting to stick to the sides. That's just part of it. That'll come. So you've got to just wait now. You just watch it mix. And we'll just scrape the water off the side. Like that. So now we can see it's starting to come up. It's starting to get the consistency we want. Now I'll tip it out a little bit. Now start, there we go. We can see it taking its shape. As I say, I still tempted to throw water in there, but that ain't what you want. You've just got to let the air get into it and that's just roll, roll, roll. You can see it now really taking shape now. And it's starting to pull off the sides. Yeah, that's gone. But then eventually that's just that's just that's starting to come now. I'll just get my trial on it, see what we're like. Let's get in there. So the key is not too much water, get an equal amount of sand to cement ratio, and just let it mix, let the mixer do its stuff, that's why it's called a mixer. Now that's looking good. Today we'll get Big G on the old uh, trial. So we'll have some nice mortar. He's learned to mix, been learning to mix up as well, as we'll see later. Now that's somewhere in there. I'll just get my trial and try that. And remember, don't put your hand in the mixer like me. 
I can see this there. Right, we'll just let that pause. I'm gonna go tip some out now. The big G video will be separate. Right, I'm gonna get a wheelbarrow now, we can have some of this out. So we'll get rid of that. That over there. Just give that a little rinse. I always just wash the bear out. Not sure enough to it. Right, we'll just tip that out of the way. We'll walk in it. Right. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that looks really good. It's not wet wet, not water wet, that's just mixed wet, it's good. Now I'll just fall out of the mixer, so we leave that a couple of secs. I'll have a little scrape. There's a little bit at the back here, if that'll come out. Yeah, that's looking good that, I'm really happy with that. So remember, not too much water, equal sand equal cement and let the mixer mix it that's what it's for so we'll just get a look in the, in the bowl so that's nearly all that's what i'll do now is i'll put some water in there let that nearly wash itself out i'll just move the mortar right so now we'll have a little pour that in there the key is getting your mortar right if you start wrong, you've got no chance. That's hard enough as it is. Always got to wash your kit. Always had a good try from washing your kit. So we'll let that turn around on its own for a few minutes. And then we can leave it. That's looking good. It's nearly there. 